where and what is happening with the mango kittens while they are leaving to their forever home. Everything is ready for the new owners. Now we got the goodie bags nice and ready. Hi, I'm gonna miss you. What is up guys, welcome back to the channel. I hope you're having an absolutely amazing day so far. So guys, if you could see by the title and thumbnail, you probably can guess what today is. Now you're probably all asking where and what is happening with the Bengal kittens while well, they are leaving to their forever home. Now it's very exciting and it's also very sad. It's very exciting to see these babies be happy with a new family, going to their forever home. But it's also sad because we've been with these babies since day one. We literally saw mom give birth, so we have been with these babies since they were first born but it's so so rewarding just to see how much they've grown and to make another family happy with their new addition now guys they haven't left just yet so we still have them here they're actually going to be leaving this weekend but we have to get everything ready they're going home with a goodie bag they got all their shots they have a bunch of stuff they're going home with so i'm honestly so excited to get that ready but we have new additions to the Fetter fam. We got new babies here at the property. So guys, without further ado, before we hop into today's video, let's go see these new babies. So guys, we're walking into my room, and if you guys have been following the channel, you'll know that every single little baby animal so far I have kept in my room just to make sure we can monitor them closely through the night if mom has a problem, if babies have a problem, if babies start crying. I'm literally right here to check on them, but guys, I didn't show you these babies. Now these babies just opened their eyes. They're about a week and a half, two weeks old. So take a look right here. Oh my goodness. We got some more little kitties. So you can see just like the rag dolls, we set up a little playpen right here. Actually mom loves and prefers to be covered. So we have this little part covered. We got a heating pad on the bottom right here to keep these babies nice and warm. Now the heating pad is literally only covering from here to here. Now the reason we do that is because you can see some of the babies want to be on the heating pad to get warm and if they get too hot or if it gets too uncomfortable they can actually go off the heating pad and cool down a little bit look at these look at these babies oh my god hello look at that little vines over there oh is someone spitting at us i think someone's a little bit scared now we have now we have mommy mocha right here now mocha is not the mom so we're gonna see oh we found mommy so guys, this is the mommy. Mommy is Nirvana, my main coon cat. So she is doing an absolutely amazing job raising these babies. I thought she wasn't in the room, but you can see mommy's doing great and she's always watching over her babies. But let's take a look at them, guys. Oh my goodness. Look at these little babies. Oh, hello. Did we wake you up from your kitty nap? Now guys, a really cool thing I wanna show you that the kittens actually inherited from mom. Let's see if we can look at mom and Nirvana. So you can see that some Maine Coons have regular toes like Mocha Kitty right here. But if you look, Nirvana mom is actually a polydactyl Maine Coon. So if you look at her toes right here, you can see they're extra big and she actually has extra toes. So if Mocha gets out the way because she wants all the attention, let's see. So you can see mom has extra toes. She has about seven toes right there. You can see also on the other foot and mommy did not want us to do that. All right, well, we'll leave you alone. I just wanted to look at your toes, silliness. I did, but let's look at the baby's toes because the babies, three of the babies, actually have mommy's toes. Let's see right here. Is this one of the babies? Yes! This is one of the babies that has seven toes. Look at that, guys. Absolutely crazy, absolutely insane that this can happen to these little kitties right here. Now, it's honestly so, so cool. It makes them look like they have giant feet. And oh my goodness, Auntie came to the rescue. Are you gonna nurse these babies? So Mocha is actually still producing milk for her five week old kittens, but these are not your babies. You just want love? Mom, what are you doing? So you can see that this little baby right here has seven toes. Let's look at this little baby right here. And this is another one that also has seven toes. So you can see just how amazing that is. Oh my goodness, let's look at the other foot. Yes, can we see the other foot, little one? Can we see it? Oh my goodness, and oh, look at that. I can't really see that well, but let's take a look at these babies. This is actually my favorite one. Oh, 
Look at that chunky face. Look at that Maine Coon face. Hi. Now we saw these two with the polydactyl feet, but if you take a look at this one right here, you can see this little boy or girl has regular toes. And you can see Mommy Mocha actually comes in here and nurses these babies as well. So it's great that Mama Mocha and Mama Nirvana get to co-parent just like Nala and Nova. So it gives each mom a break, gives these babies extra nutrients, extra time to nurse, and that's very, very good for growing little babies. Now let's check the last baby. I'm getting confused. So I think we checked this one. You can see she has extra toes. Oh my gosh. Wait guys, I think this baby actually has eight toes. Let's let's count. Oh my goodness. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh no, she actually has seven. That's crazy guys. Look how many toes that this little girl has right here. I mean, there's one hiding right there. This is crazy. This little girl is letting us pet the belly, but just look how yummy that face is. So thick, just as a main cone should be, because they're very, very fluffy, as you can see by mommy. So you can see their coat is super, super thick for only being about two weeks old. Now you can see these babies are super happy. They're super healthy, and oh my goodness, look at this belly. Look at this baby belly. Look at that baby belly. So we're gonna do now is we're gonna leave these babies alone. We're gonna let them rest a little bit longer, and we're gonna head over and get everything ready for the Bengal kittens to go home. So guys, we have a very sad and exciting day. Now we have a very sad day because two of my Bengal kittens, two of Nala's babies, are leaving to their forever homes. Now it's very, very exciting to see them going to a great family, but it's also sad because I've been with these babies since day one, and this is what they look like now. We're, we're gonna go see them in a second, but we do have a little goodie bag that we are giving the new owners. So we're in my office right now. We got the box right here that we are gonna be setting up their goodie bag. So let's take a look what we're gonna be adding and what these babies are gonna be going home with. So first off, of course, we have a personalized blanket. Now I literally ordered a ton of blankets right here. Now the blankets that are going home with these two babies are actually already in the cat room, getting mama smell. So when they go to their new family, they have a piece of home with them, they have a piece of mom with them, and they can smell that and it will calm them down. Down. So we already have those blankets in with them. So let's go ahead. Let's move these other blankets and see what's going home with them. All right. So guys, we do have a little goodie bag. This is a little goodie bag. You can see we have cats all over it. We're going to be putting all their goodies in. We have, of course, our treats right here. So they're going to get some yummy, yummy salmon treats. Of course, we're going to have a little water bowl, food bowl. This is a to-go little bowl right here, which is actually amazing. You can see it has a little keychain right here that you can attach to anything. They have a little toy set they're going home with, a feather toy as well that they absolutely go crazy for, and of course, a personalized collar. So guys, before we go see them, before we say our final goodbyes, let's go ahead and set their goodie bag up. So we've got our goodie bags here ready and open. Now the first things that we are going to be adding in is our flea and tick medicine. Now this flea and tick medicine right here is their first dose. So they actually went to the vet this morning. They got their flea and tick medicine to go home with for the new owners to do. They got their Florida health certificate that shows they received all of their shots. They got their fecal done, which is negative. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this. We're going to add this one in this little goodie bag and this one in this one. Now we've got our little bowls open right here. And I'm thinking since it's two girls that are leaving, we're going to go ahead. And I think I like these two for them. So we got a pink one. We got a yellow one. Let's go ahead put it in each little baggie guys this is so sad yet so happy at the same time i mean i can't even express how i'm feeling right now we got our little feather toys we picked a blue and a purple one so let's go ahead put it in the goodie bag all right guys so we got that in the goodie bag as well let's grab two of our toys right here throw them in the goodie bag all right there we go and here we have it we got the toys Time for the treats, so let's go ahead and throw the treats in as well. And guys, last but not least, our collars. So we haven't opened them yet, so you can see we have all of these colors right here. Now take into consideration, we have two little girls going home, so we're gonna pick their collars right now. I actually have not opened them. So let's see, and oh my goodness, literally a pile of collars right here. And oh my gosh, guys, these are so cute. Look at this, look at all of these colors. I'm actually loving this one right here, this one, and I think this one I'm actually obsessed with. Or maybe should we match the, the little water bowl and do the yellow one? Maybe we should do that. Maybe we should do the pink one 
and a yellow one. So we got a pink and a yellow one. We're just going to plop it in on the bag right here. There we go. We're actually going to put it on them before they leave. Plop it in there. We just want to make sure everything is ready for the new owners. Now we got the goodie bags nice and ready. Let's take a look inside and see how it's coming along. So look at our goodie bags, guys. It is filled to the brim. It is stacked. Look at this. It is looking amazing. Now, guys, since we filled our goodie bag, the last thing that we really have is the blankets. And of course, we can't forget their medical history. But guys, now that we got their goodie bags, we got them all nice and ready. So they're ready to go home. We're going to say our goodbyes to the babies. We're walking into the kitty room and mama kitties, baby kitties. I think they're actually in the closet right here. Where are babies? Hi, I'm gonna miss you. Guys, we're in the little bangle kitty room and you're probably wondering which babies are leaving. So we have them literally checking out my camera right now. She's she's trying to see what's up. But this little girl right here, which is Nala's baby, she is going to forever home. Just look at her. I know you guys haven't seen them in a while, but they're doing absolutely amazing. I mean, just look at her pattern. Look how absolutely adorable she is. And now this little girl right here has a spunky attitude. She is the sweetest little girl ever. And then, we have another one of Nala's baby, and she is leaving to her forever home. Now, she is a very unusual pattern. Now, this pattern would be marble, but I've never actually seen a Bengal kitten with two stripes down her back. Are you excited? Yeah? Oh, look. So, we have mommy right here. Are you sad your babies are leaving? Yeah, you're so sad. So if we take a look right here, you can see we got the blankets and this is what the babies are going to be going home in. Now mommy's been laying on them, the babies have been laying on them, and this is going to give them a little piece of home right here. Yeah, are you excited? You love these little blankets? Yeah, oh my goodness. Now guys, we got two babies going home. You got to see them, but we still have one little girl right here. So this is actually Nova's baby and Nova's only baby. So let's take a better look at her right here. Look at her rosettes. Now this girl, she is absolutely stunning. And look at that little face right here. Now she is still up for adoption. So guys, if you are interested in this little beautiful bangle kitty from my mama's right here and the daddy bangle that I have, well guys, don't hesitate. I'm gonna be linking my Instagram down below. So guys, shoot me a DM, shoot me an email if you are interested in taking this little baby girl home. All right, so it's been a couple days and the kitties are gone. So two of Nala's babies have gone to the forever homes and their families could not be more happy. But I wanna show you the family that came over and we actually have, oh, you wanna come, come here. So guys, literally talking about Nala's babies, Nala came over and she wants to say hello, hi. Oh my goodness, you're so sad that your babies left you. You need your babies back. So you can see Nala literally does not know what to do. She's been in the room with her babies and she is so confused being out here, but she's with her sister. She's with her other sisters, Mocha and Nirvana. And oh my goodness, yeah. Hi, you know we were talking about you. But guys, I wanna give a huge shout out to the, one of the families that came to pick up one of the Bengal kittens. They actually came with a little present. Now this is honestly so, so adorable. I had no idea, but look at this guys. Yeah, if you couldn't guess already, this is Theo and Alfie's little apron. So guys, if you have been following the channel, you know that we do cooking videos with my monkeys all the time and we don't have aprons for them. So I wanna give a huge shout out to Hippie Happy Crochets for crocheting little Alfie and little Theo's new apron. I mean guys, this is honestly so, so adorable. So I can't wait to try it on my little monkey friends right here, but we are gonna hop straight into today's video. So we got little Nova's baby still in the room and we actually just moved the rag doll since they're a lot more mobile. They're playing around and they are about six weeks old so they are getting crazy. So we are gonna go in and we are gonna be feeding them in the cat room. So of course we have our Royal Canaan kitten food. Now they get the wet kitten food in the morning, in the nighttime, and then of course they have access to kitten dry food all throughout the day. So we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna pop it open and oh my goodness guys, that looks so, so yummy. Let's take a whiff. Mm, if I was a cat, I definitely would love this. So we're gonna do right now and hopefully Nala does not eat it. But we have six little kitties in there so we're gonna make six little piles. We got one, we got two, we got three, four, five and six we got our six little piles right here now we're just going to distribute the rest 
like so. And there we have it. We got all of our kitty food. We got it in a cute little pile right here. Now let's head to the cat room and see our kitties. And we're heading into the kitten room with two less Bengal kitties, but five more rag dolls in here. So we're gonna open the door and we are greeted with Nova's little baby. So you can see we have one Bengal left and this is Nova's little baby. And guys, do you hear that? Right here, she's purring already. So let's head in the room. All right, little one. Here, come on. All right, so we're gonna go on ahead and we're gonna go and put the food down right here. And I know for a fact that she's gonna run over. Come here, look. I got your food, yes. So Nova's baby is still getting used to the ragdoll kitten. She's very, very scared, but it's going to be a process. Now she's been in here with them for about a couple days and she's still a little bit scared. She hisses and she really doesn't go near them. Now it's not because she doesn't like them, but it's purely because she's scared and she's never really interacted with them before. And you can see they're literally crazy. Look at them climbing up this cat scratching post and this cat tower right here. What, what are you doing? Are you crazy? So we got one little kitty right here. We got another hanging out in this little basket. We got another one in the house right here. And we got two playing by the water. But we got Nova's little baby eating the food. And oh my goodness, you, you can't have all of that. That's, that's a lot for you. So you can see one of the rag dolls actually came up to eat next to her. And you can see that Lucky right here is growling. And oh my goodness, guys. I don't even think they've ever been this close to each other. So this is honestly amazing progress to see them eat together. And you can see she doesn't seem too, too happy, but this is a great way to have them together. So she gets used to them, shows them that they're not a threat and look at them. Oh my goodness, why are you so angry? That's your sister, it's your cousin right here. She wants to be afraid of you. So we're gonna let these two babies eat, but look at this guy. So, oh, so this one, we got one over here, but just look how much these babies have grown. So we got three little babies right here. We got a little flame point rag doll right here. We got a little fluffy girl. Oh my goodness, guys, these babies are absolutely adorable. I mean, look at those crystal blue eyes, just like their mommy, just like their daddy. And oh my gosh, who couldn't resist this little fluff ball? And let's look at this little girl is my absolute favorite. Oh my goodness. I have never seen such a cute little kitty before. These babies are absolutely adorable. Now guys, like I've said before, if you're interested in adopting any of these ragdoll babies, this little bangle baby right here. Well guys, don't hesitate. I'm gonna be linking my Instagram down below. So guys, shoot me a DM, shoot me an email. And guys, hopefully you can take a new little fur baby home, but that's going to end today's video. If you all enjoyed today's video, seeing how the kitties are doing and saying goodbye to the bangle kittens. We'll give this video a big thumbs up. And guys, comment down below if you wanna take one of these little cute babies home. And guys, if you wanna see more videos with these cute little furry felines, well, all you have to do is subscribe to my channel in the link down below.